it's Heather here with HB Ministries and I'm excited to do another Traveler's Notebook uh, review with you. It's been almost a year since I did a war binder with you and my war binder had so many hits that I'm going to share it with you again. I'm going to share with you my setup right now. Nothing's really changed but my monthly setups on how I'm doing Bible journaling are changing. Yes, my Chihuahua is going to enjoy us. She's sitting on her little pineapple pillow and her little fur and she's just going to listen to us. So I'm hoping that the lighting doesn't go in and out, but right now it's perfect and that's what I want you to be able to do is see the um, texture of this journal. This is a Maverick, a Chic Sparrow, again, ChicSparrow.com is where I ordered this Traveler's Notebook. It is a Maverick in golden brown. I also have one here in the dark brown and I'm thinking of actually selling this. So if somebody's interested in it, it's the same size. I have the deluxe, so it's a big size. It has all the inserts inside of it. I'm just not using this one. So this leather is discontinued. The Maverick leather has, a, it's, it's hard. It's really, I wish you could, I mean, there is no, I am digging my finger on this and you're not gonna make a scratch in this. So I only have the, um, it, it's engraved called Dream Bigger, so there's really nothing on there that's, um, no initials or anything so it is a nice it is a nice piece of leather it's a tough leather it wears well I like something tough because it goes in and out of whatever bag I'm carrying and I'm not one that likes how the scratches on it it actually bugs me so some like the markings because it tells the story this one is just um, a nice tough leather now there's a lot of new products out there now so each video if you go to shakespeare.com I believe they do a video on their leather so you can actually see the different ones but here is my war binder. I prefer, I prefer using a traveler's notebook and I'll show you why. have a nice little pineapple for my little charm. And I actually got this at Michael's. I love pineapples. Check the link right there above and do my pineapple devotional study. And you can actually do it right in your war binder because there will be some questions for you and challenges and some prayers. So when you open up my war binder, it is foofy and fun. A lot of my paper clips and fun things come from Posh Pieces by Melissa. She's my absolute favorite. And I, pretty much I just go to her. I really don't spend a lot of time looking at everybody's stuff. And I just go to her because she's got stuff right there. And I love everything that she has. So I'll be showing you all of her stuff as we, as we kind of go through this. But like this came from her. Um, this little chair paper clip came from her. There's just all, pretty much everything I have in here. So this is just the entry. I have some notes in here that I'm keeping. Bible verses. I have a Bible verse on hope. And I kind of change out everything that's in here. I have a little packet um, here with a secret verse for the week that whatever I'm struggling with or something that I really want to you know, keep close to my heart, I have a little packet and, it, and I just take it out. kind of do that for you right now. I pull it out and my verse is stuck in there. So just something cute. It's Psalm 62.5 right now. Just believing in something that you're expecting for. If it's part of God's will, just hold on to it and keep believing in it. And so that is um, stuck right in there. Then I have my key verse here, which is um, 1 Corinthians. Uh, 9 24 through 27 and that verse is how to learn to run in such a way I wrote a book called run how to believe and behold and become all God's created you to be right up above is the link for that book you can come to my website also at heatherbaxter.com just hit the store link and it is an awesome Bible study to do in a community group so just get in touch with me message me wherever you want and we will connect so this is uh, just a folder made this little folder and I keep stickers in here um, sometimes some church notes that I haven't transferred over yet into my church note section um, and that's pretty much it sometimes I'll do church notes on a piece of loose leaf and then just stick it in here so what I have in my war binder has not changed from the last war binder video if you haven't saw my first war binder video check it out right above um, I really get into more specifics in that video so you might want to check that out uh, but all of my inserts always come from Yellow Paper House. All of these come. So I usually do, uh, you can get different colors. You can do one that's all cream or you can get the multi. I did multi on this and I usually get the basic lined and that's pretty much it. And I go with the brown front because I decorate my inserts differently all the time. I start the new year off every year with an insert and it'll say, um, the Bible in 2018 and this is basically all my journaling or church notes go in here so every single service I do church notes and they go right inside of here 
and I love them. I like to go back and look at all the messages and it's just awesome. So I buy a new insert every single year for that. And these are just, again, like fun things. This is a little shaker somebody made me. Um, I think from one of the places I bought something from previously, they just put a shaker inside of there. Those are so easy to make. Um, if you're interested in how to make a shaker, just let me know and I'll show you. My next insert is for my family. It's for my husband and my son and my daughter and for me. So I believe in praying over our family. I believe in praying visions over my husband. Again, this is in my same video. I have this in my war binder every single year. When I run out of pages or it becomes a new year, I just add. It's not like I'm writing in this all the time. Here's Benjamin. If something's pressing really hard, my son went into the Navy this year just about four months ago. So really praying for his will and you know, for God to bless him and show him and speak to him there. So just more inserts here for Benjamin in 2018. So then I take a chunk of pages and I leave them for him. And then you'll see my daughter, Brittany. Areas that I'm praying about for her. We are just paying, praying for her college decision. She's going to be going to Hope College in Holland. But I have um, pages for her. And then I have pages for Olivia. And then behind this page, I have her written out. So that's that whole insert from Yellow Paper House is for my family, my husband, and when you feel God, when, you, when you're going through something messy, start praying about it. Write it out what could be and should be. And uh, use that war binder. Go to war for your family. So that's what that insert's for. This insert right here is my calendar. And as you can see, I have August set up. And I don't know if you're getting a glare from the light or not, but I'm going to zoom in. I'm kind of doing this one-handedly in the corner. So I'm going to zoom in just a tad for you so you can see this part. But what I did here is I took my calendar, and this is August, and every single day in August, I have a topic and then a verse on how we're gonna pray it out. So for example, um, August 7th, a friend who is six. James 5, 13 through 16. Uh, the next day is the 7th, a military family, Romans 12, 12. And it just goes on. I mean, August 14th, I'm gonna pray for a spouse or my kids' future spouses, Mark uh, 10, 9. So every single day in August has a topic and then a verse to pray it out. I will leave the link and I'll put all those verses there. I'll screenshot this page for you. So if you want to set up your journal for that month like this, pick any month and just start putting the verses down. Then what I do in the insert behind it is I actually write out that verse. So for example, today was August 7th, I wrote out, we're praying for those that are sick. I wrote out the people specifically in my life that are sick right now. I wrote out the verse and then I began to pray over them. So I'm going to be doing this more frequently on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be putting up a month of verses. I am, I'm working with my friend Cherie Sisters in Christ. She is the one that gave me this plan. And so I'm loving um, her community. So you can go find her on Facebook, Cherie Sisters in Christ. Join us. She's always putting a monthly challenge out there for us. So both of our websites are faith-based and we're just doing fun things for women and we share each other's um, company and friends and we just work together in this big faith community. So if you're just joining and it's past August, go ahead and feel free. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to take a picture of this. It's going to be at the end of the video. Fill up whatever month, whatever year you're in. Go ahead and start journaling in your war binder and put your months in and then get another insert and write the verse out and pray with, back what that verse means. So here's a quick little devotion I'll share with you today in regards to praying for people that are sick and I loved it. Now, one thing I want to share is sometimes when we read the verse today, it talks about how when you pray in faith and you anoint them with oil, God is going to heal and his will will be done. So one thing that um, I think confuses a lot of people is that we see a promise, but sometimes it doesn't turn out that way. It's not factual. It, you know, the healing's not being granted is in today's prayer I want you to understand and, and I wrote this out sometimes I'll, I'll google and I'll do a lesson and you know in case it comes up again that topic I can share this with somebody so really we're talking about prayer and how God sometimes gives us a promise but it's not factual it doesn't end up happening exactly the way 
we feel it should. And this verse really helps us understand that there are four ways in which God grants a healing. There's some conditions that need to happen. So I broke the verse down. If you really look at it, it talks about number one, confess sin. That sometimes sickness can be because of um, sin and God uses the, uses it as a tool of judgment. You'll see that in this verse. So we're praying for the areas that are wrong in somebody's life and for God to you know, expose that and show that because sickness could be dealt with. Um, could be coming from that. Number two, it ca- talks about having energetic prayer. Having a prayer life that is so persevering, that you're just so interested in doing things the right way, you're so excited about God and everything, that God just knows your heart. You have an energetic prayer life in regards to what you're praying for. Number three, sometimes it's a thorn in the flesh, and, and it's a spiritual benefit. God's not going to remove the sickness or what's ever going on because, again, it's a spiritual benefit. It's a thorn that is supposed to be in the flesh. For sickness unto death, it may be God's will for um, for your life not to be prolonged. Uh, we have to understand, you know, there may not be a healing for a reason that God has. You know, he talks about sickness unto death. So this whole area, I got out of a lesson that I Googled in regards to this verse and then wrote it down in my war binder because I feel like sometimes people are going to war with sickness and I have that topic, that topic that came right here for my monthly scripture verses. So again, I'm going to screenshot this for you so you can set up your bind, your war binder and you can get your calendar. Again, you can buy calendar inserts from uh, Yellow Paper House. This is every month has its open calendar and you can do. I didn't do anything for July. Actually, I did do verses for July and it was all on prayer, but I did not do it in my war binder. I did it in a notebook. Um, but I'm back in my war binder for August and that's why I really felt like um, sharing my war binder this month with you because I'm in this often as I'm praying visions over my family and writing visions out over my family and I thought my church notes are all in here why not be doing my monthly calendar whatever journal I'm whatever scripture I'm reading for that day let's just put it all together instead of putting it in a separate notebook so that's really what my war binder um, has and the back is just pockets of letters that people this is another thing that came from posh piece by melissa she made these little laminated bookmarks which is so cute and i just have them in this little pocket card i made let me push this out a little bit for you i made these little pocket cards with these little uh, clear plastic um envelopes you get from the dollar section in target and I just stick those in there and this also becomes just a cool bookmark. Go to Instagram and, and do um, planner community or planner tools and all kinds of cute things will come up on Etsy or you can do it on Etsy also. Um, follow me over on Instagram and a lot of times I'll do links there. Um, I'm pretty um, live with my Insta stories all day long so if you want to follow me on the daily verse that I'm doing with a little devotion I would put that right on my Insta story so we can kind of just be friends right there so anyway that is it it's super easy so if you have any questions on how to set up your traveler's notebook or you have any questions on my inserts just let me know I will put the link to yellow paper house right below and I'm telling you those are the best place to get your inserts and so I would say get an insert for your family and divide it all up get an insert for all your church notes and then get an insert for a calendar so you can decide how you're going to do you know a verse for every single day whether it's going to be themed or topics and and use the one that I'm going to share with you today and then get another insert to put behind that one so you can actually do your daily verses and so that's pretty much what I do I love my church note ones and sometimes I take this whole thing to church and sometimes I don't like I said I'll put it you know do it on a piece of loose leaf and then come home and transfer those church notes and so every year this changes over Um, I'm really happy with the traveler notebook um, arrangement I just feel like it's easy it's cute I can do my scrapbooking I can keep letters in here Um, any type of spiritual markers. I think I've even showed this in my last video, but when I was running one day and praying, I found this down the back country road, and when I was looking down and asking God specifically, I hope you're in on this, I looked down and I noticed this and I picked it up, and ever since then I knew God was part of something I was praying about, and He just let me know right then and there, and it's just a reminder that, you know, sometimes we're going to go at war and pray for things, that God's um, binding agreement and his covenant with us. Um, He's for us and he's going to work all things for the good for those that love him and are called according to his purposes. So I hope today's video was a blessing. If you have any other questions about my war binder, like I said, or need help, let me know. Anybody interested in this war binder over here, again, 
It's just like mine, but it's a dark brown. Mine's a golden brown. Like I said, it's a really tough weather. Um, just leave me a comment and uh, I'll let you know. We'll connect and we'll just do it that way. I was going to sell it on my Instagram, but never did. Um, which reminds me, follow me over on Instagram. I do my devotions every single day out of my war binder. So you can follow me there on my stories and just stay updated with everything there. So have an awesome day. God bless. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.